Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Spitz, America's favorite penis doctor, and today I want to talk to you about illness and sex. Now, erections may seem to have a mind of their own, but they definitely share your body. And when your body is sick, it can make Mr. Happy more like Mr. Sad. For the erection to happen, there has to be healthy nerves and healthy blood vessels. So if you have an illness that's affecting your nerves or your blood vessels, your erection may eventually need life support. One of the most common ailments that causes erectile dysfunction is diabetes. Excess sugar in the blood causes lots of problems, but it causes the most damage to the smaller nerves and blood vessels like the ones in your penis. Poorly controlled blood sugar can result in damage to nerves of the feet, poor vision, but most commonly erectile dysfunction. And what happens is that the nerves in the skin of the penis become less sensitive, they less effectively trigger blood flow to the penis, and even those blood vessels become narrow and stiff and can't properly fill up that love pump. In severe cases, there's even a loss of semen during sexual climax. So too much sugar in the kitchen can result in no sugar in the bedroom. High blood pressure and atherosclerosis also result in narrowing of blood vessels to the heart or to the brain, resulting in heart attack or stroke. But the damage starts much sooner, much earlier, below the belt. And that's because the arteries to the penis are much narrower than the arteries to the heart or the brain. So the penis is like a canary in the coal mine. Like the canary, if the penis drops dead, that's a warning signal that there may be danger of heart attack or stroke in the future. And certain blood pressure medications result in the flow of blood slowing down and not being sufficient to allow erections. So the best course of action is actually prevention. For most people, diabetes, high blood pressure, atherosclerosis can all be prevented or delayed with proper exercise and diet. And in fact, diet is probably about 70% of that equation. So a diet that is low in simple carbohydrates and really emphasizes plant-based foods, such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, etc., and minimizes or eliminates animal-based foods, such as beef, chicken, pork, fish, milk, and eggs, is really going to be the best diet at preventing or even reversing these diseases. So ultimately, the best course of action is to eat mainly from the produce section. See, time in bed may just be spent spooning depending on how you use your fork. I hope this illustrated the importance of good health for good sex. Please continue to follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.